appreciate you hitting the button. Welcome to the How to Hustle podcast with Hype. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at I am Hype. That's H Y M P E. It's Hype. It's not Hype. I'm not geeked up. Appreciate you hitting the button. Welcome to the How to Hustle podcast with Hype. This is episode 60. You follow me on Instagram and Twitter at I am Hype. That's H Y M P E. It's Hype. It's not Hype. I'm not geeked up. Special guest in the building for episode 60. Ladies, introduce yourself to the audience. Hey, we are MMP. We're Majestic Melanin Podcast. I'm Tanira. I'm Janine. Hey, I'm, hey, I'm Lauren B. All right, and we're ready to go. All right, shouts out to the ladies. They're new to the game. They're trying to get their feet wet, so you know what I'm saying? Let's throw them in the deep end of the pool here. All right. Uh, started off with the radio rundown. E Block Radio Network every Monday, two o'clock on the E Block Radio Network. Tuesday, GFT Radio Network, two p.m. every Tuesday. Wednesday, we got an announcement coming, but it's not official yet. Announcement's coming, but it's not official yet. Thursday is the uh, WTNUPhilly.com. My bad, T. Twelve thirty every Thursday on the WTNUPhilly.com. I say podcast radio network, ten a.m. every Friday, and the THC Media is every Saturday at ten a.m. Still looking for a Sunday slot, y'all. All right, Custom Hustle is my clothing line, Custom Hustle. You get your Custom Hustle World on Instagram, Custom Hustle Co. on Twitter. You get your sweatsuits, your jerseys, your jackets, T-shirts. We got it all happening. Uh, even working on some baby jackets, actually. <laughs> um, and H2H Cleaning is my cleaning company. At H2H Cleaning on Instagram only. That is a tri-state area situation, but if you make it worth my while, I will slide. All right, episode 60. Ladies, are y'all ready? Ready to yeah, go. I'm ready. Ready to go. All right, shouts out to my sister, Samaya. This one came from the episode. Man, I was talking this one out. Uh, when is it the time? When is the time right for you to have the serious conversation when you, you know, in your talking relationship stages with a guy? Who wants to go I first? I feel now? like when you're around, you around, like go. I'm here, T, Tanira. Um, I feel like when you're around, like for me, if you're around his friends or you you know, find yourself wanting to do certain things, like, let's go here, let's do, you know, different things, it's like, all right, what are we doing, like, how many times are we going to go out, when are we going to have this relationship conversation, like, I'm good for, I say, a good five or six times, then, okay, where is this headed, like, certain situations, though, like, we could be, we could have went out five, six times in a month, or two months, so you ready to jump on that conversation that fast? Mm-hmm. No, not at all. I personally, no. I think personally, I think it goes off for of how you feel, how you vibe with the person. If I feel like I'm sitting there wondering, hmm, I wonder what he's doing or whatever. Mm-hmm. When I start to feel that connection, it's like, okay, now it's time to ask you, are we dating? I think it's from here. Yeah, so I can agree with that. All right, but see, even in that situation, some people's emotions have had them reacting. Like I said, some people might feel like that and shit in two months. Like, I feel like I knew him or her my whole life. So if you feel like that, cause that could have been, I didn't feel like that for three years that I really cared what you was doing. So like, I need a time frame from y'all. Oh, less than a year. I mean, definitely. I, I, I'm going to go with, let me hold say on, Hold on, hold on. Because you obviously can't put a time frame on your, like you saying, it's your feelings, your emotions copy. I understand that. But Give me, just for argument's sake, throw a number out there at me. I mean, I'm not to jump on a bandwagon, but I'm gonna go with Steve Harvey and say at least 90 days. Like, <laughs> nothing less. <laughs> like, there like, you go. I, there you go. Less. That's perfect. Like, like two months, two months. If we back and forth, we going out, we talking constantly for yeah. consistency. You texting me good morning, <laughs> like. What you doing? Where we we doing with this? Like, Mm -hmm. yeah, ninety days is perfect. Ninety days is three months, y'all. At three months, this man is definitely still lying because you're still lying. So let's keep that real, (laughs) okay? Just because I text, just because I text Lauren good morning don't mean I ain't texting these two, okay? Maybe that nigga don't know. Maybe, maybe hold up. Maybe he don't know how to cook. That's why he go out all the time. So that's why y'all been on six dates in three months. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? Like, this is why it's a <laughs> we ain't saying, all right, look, we're in a relationship now. I think it's it's important to just have the conversation. Like, what do you want? Yeah. What do I want? 
are we on the same page? Are we heading to a relationship or are we just going to be talking for a long time? Right. Yeah. I feel like it doesn't have to be, all right, it's been 90 days. Are we in a relationship? No. Like, how are you feeling about me? How I'm feeling about you? Like, do you feel like this is headed somewhere? You know, like, I don't personally want to waste all this time and you're not even interested in no type of relationship. Like, that right. conversation right. still does need to be had, you know, somewhat early on. Because if we just going to kick it and, you know, hit it and quit it, that's cool. You know, if that's what we decide to do. We, that's what we decide to do. Let but, you know, let yeah, let it be known. Don't let it be, be yeah. Messing around, like, come on. We can, we can talk about it. Then I too. guess you should ask, um, are you talking to any other girls? Like, maybe that's mm-hmm. a good time yeah. to ask that. He gonna lie. He gonna lie. But we already <laughs> know. <laughs> that's right. 90 lie, days, you got them right, it. I'm lying. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. I got us, fellas. Hold up. Ah, let me stretch out here for us. All right, so. <laughs> Myself, personally, I was into a long conversation. See what I'm saying? I got to really get to know you, know you. Like, because I would tell girls from the rip, I don't want no girl. You're not going to be my girl. And if that's what you're looking for, I'm not the guy for you. Oh, I mean, I, I mean, I give you that first conversation. Like, maybe the night I cracked on you at the club, I didn't say that. But on Monday, Tuesday, when one of us makes that phone call, look, this is was let's put it on the table now. Because... <laughs> I don't want you to come asking me, well, what are we doing here? How do you feel? Look, we cool. That's what we doing. We talking. Now, that was in my younger days. Uh, Once you get a little older, you kind of look at things a little different. You got kids and all that type shit. So then it's like, all right, you don't really want to have your kids around too many people. Once you have kids, it's like you don't want to have three, four, five, six different girls around them because you already know that the kids are reporting to mommy. Now mommy's calling you, asking you, oh, well, who's this girl? And now we got issues, especially if if the kids tell daddy, oh, mommy had Mr. Tom and Mr. Steve and Mr. Oh, now we got issues. So I would say, like, you got to really get to know this person. Fuck a couple of times we went to Applebee's or, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We, had a happy hour, we had a happy hour or two. We got to really have some real deep conversations for me to see if you're even the type of person that I would want to have around. You could be mm-hmm. around for the moment. You could be around, you know, for a couple of months and like to there just said like we had a little fun and all right, that was cool. But you got to really get to know the person and see do they fit the criteria that I want. For me, I got daughters. So I couldn't just have anybody thinking, all right, so push comes to shove, she would be the one in the house doing the hair and the homework and all that type of shit. If she's goofy, I can't have her as a potential partner or a potential person to be there with my children. Like, So, yeah, you kind of got to establish that, but you kind of you can't jump straight in 90 days. I, I mean, I don't think 90 days is not enough time because she's definitely still lying to you. She's definitely still getting DMs that she's replying to. Well, let me say this. I feel like my time is very important. Like if I'm clearing my schedule to be with you, if I'm rearranging things to to hang out and do things at some point, yes, we do need to talk about what we're doing because I'm not going to keep doing that. If this is just some situation where we're just fucking around, like Mm -hmm. for lack of a better word, like if we just having sex and this man, bam, boom, I don't need to make sure my kids is, here and there, no, like you, you want basically on my kids' time. If that's the case, when I'm available, I'll let you know. But mm-hmm. if, if I we, agree with that. you know, on some type of serious type time, and I'm say, hey, can you watch my kids so I can go? Boom. Then, yeah, we do need to um, have some type of conversation because now I've changed my schedule for you. It makes sense. It makes sense to me. It does, because time is valuable. Absolutely. Absolutely. Once you become a parent, your time is valuable, because any time that you spend with somebody else's time away from your children. So I completely Mm -hmm. understand that. So now, and this is a question for the roundtable. What have you learned about somebody in 90 days that has made you want to say, hey, what's up with Sean? I think he must be, like, I want to get to know him a little bit better. I want to get myself more involved with him. What did you learn about anybody in any situation that you've had in just 90 days? 
I feel like you can learn a lot in 90 days. You can watch somebody's pattern. You can see how they treat other people. You can see, like, hey, if they're doing that to such and such, how they treat their mother or their kids. Like, certain things, you just pay attention. They might just, like, you know how people joke around with you. Them jokes are serious. Like, that's not how they just, they just joke. You know, they, they really, they're really acting that way. So, yeah. That's something I'm I'm picking up behavior and it's it's not even something that you necessarily told me. Like I'm watching you. You know what I mean? Like I'm picking this up on my own. I'm not necessarily just listening to what you're telling me because you can be lying. You know, in 90 days, you're gonna lie. First shit, the first year you're gonna lie. <laughs> like <Yeah. laughs> the beyond sure. no that first, well, that first we, year oh, is the getting out of period. Again, we're like, both lying. That's, that's not cool. like all the women is just keeping no, it as right. all way official. But that's why that's why you gotta look beyond the lies and look for natural uh reactions to things. Like, are you gonna be an mm-hmm. asshole because the eagle's lost and you're gonna punch holes in the damn wall? Things they like that is what I I look they, for in, in 90 days. In 90 oh, yeah, days, shit. people know how to cover up all that stuff. Like you might not get all that in 90 days. Like I, I uh, think one thing that one thing that you can tell that I feel like is kind of, can be early on, if a person got kids, like how good of a parent they are. Uh-huh. You can tell in ninety days if they talking about their kids a lot, or if if the reasons they not spending time with you is because they got to do stuff with their kids. Like those are the type of things that I think can stand out early. All right, so you just but, killed oh, me because that's where I was going because. <laughs> the first ninety, the first ninety days is still your representative. You going all your best right. behavior. Ain't neither yeah. one of us farted or nothing because we just getting to know each other, and you don't want to break that glass. <laughs> you try not to. Fart. Some people don't I'm fart. I don't fart. So shots out, <laughs> shots out to you. Keep them clenched. <laughs> but, it doesn't happen. Like. Or the, when you when you you think about though those first couple of months when you met anybody this nigga ain't out here just burping and all of that he's on his best behavior because right now I'm trying to I'm trying to see if we got something here so that's why that's why I said for me I mean some people get married after ninety days and if that's what you're doing you know congratulations that's what's up I couldn't because like ninety days it's still so much that you're trying to like you said you're trying to pick up on how does she react to this what did she say to that because for us. It's really no, like, for women, it's more of a sit down, let's have this conversation. For us, it's like a gathering of uh, evidence type of thing. It's like, mm-hmm. oh, so she reacted like this when her daughter spilled some milk on this, that, or whatever. File it away for later. She reacted this way. File it away for later. And then it's like you just you build it all up and go, pros and cons, how did that work out? Mm-hmm. For a woman, they like, let's sit down and have this whole long-ass three-hour conversation about where is this relationship going? For us, we didn't already decided in our head. It's like, oh no, this is not really going nowhere. But you know, she keep washing my clothes, so I'm gonna keep stringing her along. <laughs> Let me say this though: <laughs> it's a difference between it's a difference between let's have a relationship conversation and let's get a relationship going. Exactly. That's like those are two t- two totally different things. Like I'm Wait, not saying after ninety days, yeah. We're saying, all right, we're about to be boyfriend and girlfriend. No, we're saying. First of all, hold on, hold on, wait, 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 wait. Before you even go any further, first of all, at this stage in life, we is too old for boyfriend and girlfriend. Boyfriend and, girlfriend. and girlfriends what? are in high school or college. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> not taking some, not taking some courses at night. You live on campus. <laughs> if you are thirty-seven with a girl with a boyfriend, like, oh my god, you better okay, not be introducing this nigga as your dating. boyfriend. That's, like, that's my nigga. Or, that's my girl. <laughs> You're not introducing her, okay, as your girlfriend when we 46. Like, what are you doing? All right. The You're point out of pocket. Is, like, the point is, we're dating, whatever the hell you want to call it, that's just a conversation at 90 days. That's not saying we're together. That's not saying, oh, yeah, this is my nigga. This is my man. That's not the, what that is. No. We're saying, where is this going? We're saying, are you thinking this is headed to something serious? That's what we're saying. Not, okay. oh, you're with together. No. So ni- 90 days we into this relationship here, and you asked me that, what do you mean? What am I thinking? I ain't mean, we figuring that part out, ain't we? I'm hollering. Because 
it's 90 days. Like, I don't really know enough about you. Like I said, I haven't built. I haven't but you know if it's going well or not. You do know that. You know if it's going it's, well or not. Who, if it wasn't going well after 90 days, I'd have cut you off and blocked you by now. <laughs> so if it's not going well after 90 days, we just start talking. Like, why would we still be talking if it's not going well? So why would you even ask me, is it going well? Did I reply to your text? Or did I look you off for three days? As a woman, I want to know broke. your opinion. It's not like I'm trying to like, oh, yeah, this is going well. So great. Where are we going at? No, I just want to know how you feel at that point in time. Feel, like, that's I not what like I'm saying. you're moving too fast is what I feel like. <laughs> you, think, you really think that's moving too fast? Really? Yeah, like, how is that moving too fast? At 90 days, I'm not still, I'm at 90 days, if I just met her, let me see, 90 days was what, New Year's Eve? We gonna call it. So if I met you New Year's Eve, I'm not not talking to the other girl no more because I met you three months ago. I was talking to her. I was with her at the party when I met you. Like, why am well, I not talking to her now. no more? So now you're talking to me, and I want to know what's going on. Yeah, yeah but exactly. She, but see, one, see, those are false expectations on your own end. <laughs> <laughs> that you came in and at 90 days you just erased everything that that man was doing or yeah. even to reverse me, it if you thought that you this. came okay. in and erased everything that that woman was doing in 90 days what are you talking about but i feel like a lot of people do do that like a lot of people are like okay i'm here now so now this person is not talking to them because because exactly. every because we all think we special yeah, no, I'm saying like I'm not saying That's I a do problem. that. I'm saying that that <laughs> is an issue. Like a lot of people were like, okay, like cool. I met you out with so and so. I see you with the girl, whatever the case. And when I met you, we, we start talking. So now it's been ninety days. What's going on? Meanwhile, you're still talking to that person. But let me say this: Is that communicated? Right. Do like why as men? Why can't you just say like, yeah, we. You just still, you know, I'm still doing me, you doing you. Cool. If that's what we right. doing, cool. Just tell me. I'm gonna right. rock out. Exactly. It's just nothing lost this. by you saying I, that. So tell me this. I meet you. You and Andrew are on 90 days now. Not y'all have reached. Can I get a mic reached, or something? You and Andrew are at ninety. Y'all yeah. at ninety six days. <laughs> or Jamal or something. God. Yeah, like right. I got Andrew. Andrew. Like right for Andrew. No, it's Andrew. Y'all are, y'all are at ninety six <laughs> days when I meet you. So then, when I crack on you at happy hour, you're not telling me. Well, no, we've been talking for like you're not bringing that nigga up because at that point you're going. It's only been ninety days. That nigga ain't my man. Like I don't know. I don't know. I so don't let's know. not do. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> I can't agree with that. If we gonna be real with each other, yeah, we gonna call a spade a spade. Why can't you say, "Yeah, I'm still talking to"? Like, why can't you say that? I, yeah, that I I feel like it should be easy to be. I mean, of course you're not going to tell them. I'm going to tell you right? because hold on, Tanera. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold up, Tanera. Go ahead, Janice. What was you saying? First of all, y'all trying to establish. Y'all lie for each other. If you you don't even know if you really gonna like this person or not, you can tell them you talking to somebody else. But once y'all down a little further down the line, you can then be more honest and say, you know, I was talking to that person, but I kind of like the way this is going. I'm I stopped talking to them, or I'm gonna stop talking to them. Like it's just all about communication. Like people be too scared to say stuff. Like why are you mm -hmm. trying to hold whole information in if you're not even you don't even know if you feel me like that. So why are you just put it out there? Hold on. Before I go to you now, Lauren, like I said, people have circumstantial relationships. Like, yo, she really be holding me down with this laundry. I don't have time to wash these clothes and don't feel like doing this shit. But I know she's going to wash this stuff for me. So, yeah, we're on day 96. It is like, damn, she already washing my shit. That's what's up. I don't really like her like that. But you know, she's serving her purpose. This is why, this is the same reason that we're all using each other. But chicks have dudes that they, chicks have dudes that they're using as Uber Eats. You're never going to give him none. But if you send him the good morning text and how you doing, I was thinking about you, he's going to bring you something to eat as soon as you ask for it. You know that in your mind that if I'm really hungry, I can go out on a date with this nigga and get me something to eat or get him to just send me something to the crib. You're not losing that nigga for this nigga that you just met. Yeah, 
That's true, but that's why there's a difference between chicks and queens. Different women move differently. So <laughs> there are exactly. women out there who are going to be like, yeah, I got this dude to buy me this meal for this day of the week, but and you, this one's going to pay my car. But note. you like, know what? That's why I do everything my damn self for myself, so I don't have to date somebody I need or play around with people I need. I go after what the hell I want, because I meet my own needs from the jump. <laughs> but so. you know what? That's the other thing. Like, that is another topic for another day easy. that we are not going to we're not going to dive into that one. <laughs> uh, look, that is definitely that look. is definitely a topic. You know what I'm saying for another day. We try to stick to the one topic here on the Hot Hustle Podcast. <laughs> but that is a live nerve that you hit right there. So let me well, write that one like, down. Go ahead, Tanera. You was about to say I something. Just wanna, yeah, I just want to say, like, piggybacking off what Lauren said, then that's not the nigga that I'm asking, are we going to be in a relationship? Like, right. if I know we're just, you're just Uber eating me some food, I don't give a fuck about no relationship with you. I'm not asking no, no, you no, about no, no right. relationship. Right. Wait, hold up. You, lost you know what I mean? Like, me. I'm going to still do Wait. me. Hold up. You lost me. What I'm saying is you meet another guy. Like I said, you meet another guy and now you're getting into your 90 days with him. But the nigga who's been Uber Eats, who the nigga who's been Uber Eats, you're not cutting him off because you met this new dude. Why not? It's only 90. Why would you? Hey, why 90 not? Days. Would, I would. Bye, 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 bye. <laughs> yeah. Like, bye. Like, <laughs> we're not keeping it official like, here. I mean, it's time for the doormat to go. Like, I mean, why not? If you like your new dude... You don't like to wipe your feet before you go in the house? I do that in my own house, for sure. I don't have to, you know... I'm I'm just saying. I would. I would cut off the Uber Eats for somebody I really like. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, I can't copy. If you say, go ahead, Tanera, you were saying. No men here, so we're. I'm going to agree with Lauren, and I'm going to say absolutely. Yeah, I'm quite sure you would. Why wouldn't you? <laughs> All I'm saying here is it's very important for us to have the conversation. It's important for us to have it at the right time, though. If we jump the gun with these conversations, then one, you could scare off this other individual, whether you could be the dude too eager because your two cousins just got married. And now you've been mm. talking to this girl for a couple of months and you going like, well, everybody else getting married. I got to find something fast. And you know, niggas will be having a biological clocks ticking just like the women. Yeah. And those are bad situations to put yourself in where you trying to square peg round hole and act like y'all been together for eight years when it only been a year and a half. Mm -hmm. Cause like you can't jump too fast into those different situations. The problem uh -huh. that we have is people don't be equipped to knowing when is it that we should have this conversation. Like I said, again, if you got kids you don't want to keep having all these different niggas around and you need to be figuring out, look, are you going to be somebody that I need to introduce to these kids or are you just going to be the nigga who sends me uh, two for 20? <laughs> like, First of all, if I got kids, out. nothing less than a year. Like, I got to make sure that you're good for me and I got to make sure you're good for my kids. So it's not nothing less than a year. But like I said, in 90 days, we can still have a conversation about where is it going. Because if you're just dicking around, like you can go ahead. Yeah, you're not gonna play in my face. That's yeah, just, like you can go ahead. Happen. We just dating. If you're just looking for a good time, if you just want to hang out at Chicken and Peep, and we just get some food, then that's cool. But I'm gonna let you go ahead. What you mean by playing in your face, though? Like, um, as of like where you were saying, oh, I don't really like her, but she she could fry some chicken. You know what I'm saying? Like. You're not gonna play in my face. Like, do you really like me or, uh, you know, I mean, you with, with 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 real? Like, like you wouldn't. But you see, again, this is why I said that that time frame was too short. Is because you wouldn't know that that that's what this situation is at first. Because ain't nobody just gonna tell you like, yo, look, I really don't know how to cook, and you know, you really know how to saute the shit out of these greens. So I'm gonna use you to get a couple of meals a couple of times. And, you know, we'll send a text here and there and maybe we'll go out for drinks once in a while. But this ain't really going nowhere. Ain't nobody going to tell you that from the beginning. <laughs> the situation will just Hell, evolve into that. That's what makes people suck. Because you I, can't tell. Yeah, I think so, too. You can tell. I mean, the easiest Men are somebody who likes that. you or not. I mean, you might not be able to tell if they're serious or a relationship or whatever the case. But you can tell if they, if they just, you know what I mean? Like, they don't fuck with me or... 
you don't know what's going on. Like, come on. Uh, I mean, <laughs> yes and yes and no, because the easiest thing for you to do is look in somebody else's look inside to somebody else's situation and make the right evaluation. When you're the person inside the situation, the hardest thing for you to do is make the right assessment of it because you can't see it. You're not the one like the person who's telling you like he just like the girlfriend who's telling you he just using you for this, that or whatever. You can't see that. Because the easiest thing for her to do is say that because she's not emotionally invested at all. She has nothing into this. All she has, and this is her opinion, the person who has the time, energy, and effort invested into the situation is the one that's going like, well, no, it ain't like that because we just went for drinks this day and we went out that day. And like, you'll start to romanticize those different situations. But like I'm saying, in them first couple of days, like, yeah, this is going cool because we still talking. If it wasn't going cool, I'd have stopped talking to you. But mm -hmm. I don't know where this is going yet because it's only 90 days and I don't know enough about you to see if I want to take this shit any further. I'm still going to go with the 90 days. Um, that makes <laughs> more that, that, that makes sense to me. Um, yeah. I, I trust my intuition. I can feel that shit. So, yeah, I, 90 days is great. I'm sorry. 90 just, days over Let here. me say this. I'm not madly in love. Like, I just feel like doing at that point like that's another thing what i feel when lauren was saying like emotionally like if this nigga is busting out saying he loved me i'm like oh, yeah. in 90 days you don't love me you don't like exactly. something i'm saying like it's he is I'm desperate saying, for the draws if that's what he told you after 90 days no but i'm just saying in some instances you'll be surprised like some guys will really egg you on to believe like this is how they feel like you can just tell like they will do the most. Like if if I feel like this is going well, I'm gonna have a conversation. I'm gonna be real with you, just like I expect you to be real with me. Now that doesn't mean I know everything. No, doesn't mean you're telling me everything. No, but we can still have a conversation. Right to see if going forward is worth my damn time. Yeah, you know, like are we still gonna continue going to on these dates and you know figuring out what we're doing? How do you feel? Boom. And That's not to say we're that, together. How they take just bringing up a conversation will tell mm -hmm. you here if this even something to continue to pursue. <laughs> Why? Yeah, because some said. guys really get upset when you bring up the relationship conversation. They're like, Whoa. like, and they get upset. They I've met like guys that just get upset when you're too real. Um, they like, yes. well, if you say like, look, I'm not fucking you. You know, I'm not. Doing this, like, what's this going? They like, well, dang, why you gotta mess up the fantasy that we're living in? By be asking me that, that means mm -hmm. you gotta go. That if you can't mm -hmm. answer the question, bye bye. Like, exactly. Won't you just go along with this shit? No. What are you doing here? Why are you in my mm -hmm. face? All, you know, they don't like you to ask them that because it's too real. Yep. This is why I said. And if you're not I sleeping call... with them too, exactly. Like, oh. Well, you got you're not gonna sleep with me yet. It's been ninety days. No, I'm still getting to know your ass. I just want right. to know how this is going. How yes. you feel this is going. That yes. doesn't mean I'm fucking you. So this is another thing. Like, like, again, I didn't ask if it's about been, your dick. If it's, like, what? If it's been ninety days and I haven't, if it's been ninety days and I haven't hit you, do you think that I've just gone ninety days right. without hitting nothing? Like. Let's be realistic you about do. this. I can. I would you just can be like, tell a guy if he's even if it hasn't been ninety days. Let's just say he's gone. I don't two months out of that ninety days. He's going sixty without. You mean you can just tell? I can tell. I'm not saying that you're not fucking nobody, but I'm saying two thousand twenty two niggas ain't going sixty days. That's poor self-control. That's why they it's, have poor self-control. That's the reason why we're not dating. It's, it's <laughs> right. Many, like, that's it's poor self-control. It's, it's too many easy DMs to slide in for me to wait. Okay. That's Around what I tell them. Oh, don't bother with me. You might as well do that. Because it's like, <laughs> like oh, go, well, go after Shabam, boo, because you're not fucking me. All right. Do what you got to do. I would just be real. That's what I'm saying. I can't be mad at anybody that's honest about anything. Be real. I respect it. That's why I said from the rip, my whole situation was, look, this is what it is. If this is not going to work for you, I totally understand. We can still be friends. If I see you out at the bar, if I'm feeling good that night, I might still buy you a drink. But you're not going to change my mind. This is just how it is. I mean, some people will say, oh, you just don't ever want to change. Nope, I don't. <laughs> look, I hear that. <laughs> um, 
<laughs> All right, now let's talk a little bit about y'all. I know y'all didn't come out with the podcast just yet, but what was the idea around y'all doing the podcast? Well, I actually talked to these ladies about um, starting a podcast. I think they're really dope. Both of them are really inspirational, what they're doing. You know, we're single parents. We're doing the damn thing. And I thought it would be a great idea for a podcast because we all have different personalities and it just, everybody sparks their own, you know, different things. So when we come together, it's always a great conversation. It's always something we talk for hours. We just would talk. So I asked them like, you know, would y'all, would y'all would like to do a podcast? And they said, yes. And here we are, MMP, starting a podcast. Hey. <laughs> what is the category that you say that you think that the podcast will go under? Janice, you answer that. The category? Yes. Are we relationship? Are we comedy? Are we entertainment? Are we funny? Like, what is it that you will fall under? Because I can tell you for me, How to Hustle podcast is under the category of shit that makes sense. <laughs> You know what? <laughs> you're never going to come here and get. Some, you're <laughs> never going to come here and get some shit that doesn't make sense. No, you're right. Uh, I don't. I don't know what kind of box to put it in. I think it would have all of those elements, but I think at the the very basic, it's just meant to be real, honest, just communication from mm-hmm. strong black women to other strong black women. Like, what about those weak sisters out there? Damn, you just going to... <laughs> you know what? <laughs> well, we we, 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 we want to inspire know, them. We want to inspire them. Just, hold up. She said exactly. the strong sister to the strong sisters. Y'all just going to demean those weak sisters out there? <laughs> you know, you know, I'm saying, any, first of all, I'm not going to call nobody weak. They might be in a weak moment. That's <laughs> out to those weak sisters. Appreciate you hitting the button. <laughs> they might be in a weak moment. <laughs> But they're going to find their strength to pull themselves out of it when they listen to us. Inspire all women to do better and just continue being parents, being, you know, whatever you are, we're going to inspire and talk about it. Absolutely. Lauren, we're going to close that one out with you. What are you looking to accomplish with the podcast? I'm looking to accomplish an audience, um, a broad audience. I feel like we all three have different things to put to the table, different levels of realist, realism, I should say. Um, and um, I just hope to inspire other Black women and other, other women, colored women in our position and just to keep fighting and to keep moving and inspire other women. Because the things are rough these days. It's been a, a rough couple of years as far as the country. Yes, ma'am. All right, so that sounds like an inspiration. Then the sounds like the category we should go under is inspirational. Absolutely. Told you, girl, I'm paid talent. You know what I'm saying professional at this shit. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> All right. Um, ladies, I appreciate y'all. You got something else you want to say? Thank you for having us, and please look out for us. We'll be on Instagram and Twitter. As MMP. All right, ladies, I appreciate y'all coming on episode 60. Once the ladies get the podcast kicked up, you know that I will be able to share the link and let y'all know where to find them at. Appreciate y'all hitting the button. That was episode 60. We are out. Appreciate you hitting the button. Welcome to the How to Hustle podcast with Hype. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at I am Hype. That's H Y M P E. It's Hype. It's not Hype. I'm not geeked up. <laughs>